this is the second part of the video and uh, here we will uh, discuss how to um, install uh, Windows uh, information server uh, with uh, PowerShell. This part is more technical and um, I would say that uh, it will be uh, useful for you if you using PowerShell or intended to use it uh, if uh, your work is uh, pretty technical. Uh, you are um, doing the support in a small company and uh, management uh, ask you to connect to the existing uh, Windows Server 2019 and uh, Prepare it uh, for installation uh, of a new Internet Information Server uh, and also uh, they asked you to be careful and not to destroy uh, whatever already exists on uh, the server. So in this case, uh, first you will uh, verify if IS is installed on the machine. And after that, you will see if um, some uh, kind of uh, old infrastructure is exist on the machine. Uh, after we uh, ready to install uh, the server and we uh, did the safe backup, we will install Internet Information Server. We will install it uh, with... Um, PowerShell command and we will decide which command to use. It's possible to do with add Windows feature or it's possible to do uh, with install Windows feature. Both commands uh, will work. Uh, and the only difference with add Windows feature is an alias and uh, I would say that uh, it it was used in old operation systems and uh, now uh, that's Microsoft keep it uh, for the compatibility purposes so that people that knows how to use with old command uh, also will continue to use it. Um, and eventually uh, we will uh, finish this video by remove IAS and uh, we will do this removal with um, a remove Windows feature or with an uninstall Windows feature as usually uh, both will work and um, we try uh, one of them remove Windows feature is uh, alias okay let's start how do we know if uh, web server is not installed on this machine what i will do first i uh, open server manager and on the left i see if ias is here well if ias is not here most chances that it's not installed uh, the second part um, let's run uh, some powershell commands that will help us to know if it's installed and here I already did the uh, research and uh, to show you uh, the thought process. Okay, uh, I know that uh, I can find uh, if um, IS is installed with get windows feature and let's run it. Uh, as you can see it's run selection. Click and um, well it's not exactly what we wanted to find. It uh, shows if IS server extension is installed and uh, WinRM IS. Uh, by the way, uh, since you don't see X here in square brackets, uh, that means that this specific feature is not installed. Uh, now we will try um, another search and it's uh, get Windows feature uh, web. And see what we have. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, uh, different uh, features with web, and it's uh, too much. Let's uh, be more specific. I get Windows feature web server. Okay, that is better. Uh, 
first, as you can see, web server or IIS is not installed because uh, you don't uh, have X uh, here. And uh, web server its name, name property, and uh, install state available. Uh, we will see after we will install the IIS that uh, the result of this running of this command will be different. Now, uh, we have add windows feature and install windows feature. How do I know which command is uh, original command and which command is alias? Of course, here I wrote that it's uh, and, and commented that one is alias version and another is a direct command. But how do I know it? And uh, in uh, PowerShell ISE, we can uh, let's say take add windows feature right click it and start intellisense that is our help uh, it shows the command and it shows the comment and comment for add windows feature it's install windows feature and uh, that shows that it's alias because uh, on the original command we're supposed to have a features, uh, install Windows feature, right click, start IntelliSense, and you can see uh, the syntax of the command. The same we will do with uh, remove Windows feature. If we uh, would like to know if it's alias, highlight it, right click and start IntelliSense. We have another command in uh, the comments, it's uninstall Windows feature. And uh, when we do the same with a uninstall Windows feature, we have a comments. Okay, uh, our now uh, after we uh, verify that uh, web server is not installed here, we just want to know uh, what about infrastructure. Uh, usually the default installation will be uh, on a C. Uh, I mean on disk C and uh, we have a netpub as you can see uh, we have something here and that shows that uh, we had a server and uh, also you can search for a netpub if it's uh, not in place and we have a uh, different uh, folders now instead uh, of deleting it uh, what I will do I create new folder I name it uh, backup And I take uh, in by Control X this in that pub. I'm going to back up and I put it here. So if um, later we will need uh, something from old infrastructure, we will can go to uh, backup in that pub, uh, go to www root where we have the content, and uh, we can uh, find the files or files that was here before. Now. Uh, we don't have a netpub here and we are good to go and to start our installation. We go back to our PowerShell and uh, we run uh, one of the commands and uh, both are, will work. Let's say uh, this time we will run alias. Uh, now when using PowerShell uh, you need to use include management tools. Uh, because um, it's not installed automatically and uh, you, uh, I guess you will need uh, to manage the internet information server. So uh, here let's run it. Installation started. After that we will uh, check if uh, server installed and uh, you can see that it's a pretty quick uh, process installation of a web server with uh, PowerShell. Okay, I would say that uh, the installation is finished. 
let's see the um, how it looks like. First of all, uh, let's see uh, what will be output of uh, get Windows feature um, PowerShell command. Uh, install state installed, and uh, you can, can see X in the near the web server. And uh, you can see the difference here. Before the installation, install state was available. Now it's installed. Before the installation, it was no X in the square brackets, and now we have X in square brackets. Uh, let's go to server manager. I would say uh, on the left, for some reason, we don't see uh, the IAS. Uh, that we expect to see, but let's try to refresh. Here I click on refresh dashboard. And here we go. On the left we have IAS server. Uh, let's check uh, the um, what we have in di disk C. Uh, as uh, we expected, we have a netpub. And we have a WW root. And it with some uh, files that installed by default. Um, we, we already saw in previous video how we uh, check if um, server uh, exists. If you not and functional, if you're not sure, you can see uh, part one. Now the next thing we will uh, do uninstall the Internet Information Server. And again, we will use the command Okay, uh, previously we used alias version And uh, to install the server, let's see if, uh, if I'm correct Add Windows feature, that's what we used. And uh, add Windows feature is alias. Now to remove, uh, we will use uh, the uh, original version. Uh, that is uh, uninstall Windows feature. Include management tools. I guess we missing here the name of the feature. Let's add it. It's web server. Install Windows feature. Web server. And that is uh, include management tools. Let's try to run it and see. Okay. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's not accept uh, feature as positional argument. Um, what argument do we have here? IntelliSense. Uh, I would say that it should be name. Let's try it. Name. Let's try to run command again. Okay, something else uh, not allowing us uh, to do the command. In this uh, case, uh, I would say with the syntax and it shows that uh, we have uh, uh, something that need to be removed. And this sign, this minus, uh, let's remove it. And let's run to command. Uh, let's try to run the command again. And now, as you can see, the command started. And it shows that it's start removal. While uh, it's running. 
Uh, let's see in our plan. It is uh, remove uh, IS in information server. Let's see how that works. We have warning, you must restart this server to finish the removal process. Let's do quick control and after that uh, uh, we'll, I will restart the server and uh, you know that it's uh, how to restart the server, it's simple operation. So uh, get windows feature, web server, let's run it. And uh, as you can see install state is available and uh, we don't have X. Uh, um, here also let's see uh, what we have in server manager in server manager we still have IAS but we already know that we need to click on refresh button and uh, IAS has disappeared uh, thanks a lot for viewing and see you in the next video